All right, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. We will be joined by Warren Erickson and Jamari Salyer. Um, just a quick reminder before we get started, uh, please make sure that your devices are on mute and also please no live streaming. Uh, Kara Logan will be our moderator tonight. So we'll go ahead and turn it over to Kara and Warren. Hello. Um, okay, Mark Weiser, if you have a question, you can start. Um, hey, sorry about that. That's okay. Um, hey, Warren, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Tell me a little bit about um, kind of what spot you're working uh, on the line as you get ready for this game and also knowing, um, you know, that depth is going to be very important uh, this season with, with uh, you know, possible guys uh, missing due to COVID protocols. Um, you know, how, how much uh, does that raise the anticipation level for you week by week? Uh, week by week, I just want to be ready to go. Uh, COVID adds a little bit of an extra factor in as long as injuries as people getting down and with COVID and all that stuff. So uh, I'm kind of working at all three interior positions, just getting ready and anything I can do to be ready for this game. Thank you. Okay. Um, next we'll go to Seth Emerson. Hey Warren, I think uh, sometimes people outside the sport don't realize how important a position coach is and, I guess, a player's life, like they recruit you, they coach you every day. Can you talk just a little bit about that and Coach Pittman and, and Coach Luke, the relationships with both of them that you formed? Uh, both both men are great men. I mean, uh, Coach Pittman recruited me here, and I have great respect for him. And, uh, you know, he's at Arkansas now, and we respect him as a coach and as a as a getting ready for this team. And same thing with Coach Luke. He came in. He's done a great job getting to know us and, and – implying his own enthusiasm into the, the offense and the scheme, um, you know, it's huge. And Coach Luke is big on not just coaching the X's and O's. He's huge on uh, making sure that our life, in, you know, we have a good life and that he's involved with it and that we're uh, – any emotional or uh, any mental things that we're going on with that he is well aware of, and he's going to get us through that as well. Okay, Anthony Doctor, do you have a question? Sure. Hey, Warren, how are you doing today? Uh, let me ask you about some of the uh, the freshman offensive linemen. I know a lot of these guys obviously just coming in and, and kind of learning the ropes, so to speak. But uh, who all has been kind of catching your eye so far? You know, all of our freshmen have come in and they've done a great job competing. I mean, fall camp is long and it's a grind for everyone, especially coming in as a new freshman. And each one of them has done and stepped up really well. I'm not sure if there's one in particular that's caught my eye, but all I know is that the years to come, you know, that UGA is going to be here and the offensive line is going to stand firm. Okay, Chip Towers, you're next. Hi, Warren. Uh, just wondering, with uh, Sam Pittman being on the other sideline, obviously you'll be focused on the game Saturday, but uh, how curious are you just overall knowing him as well as you do and kind of knowing all, all about him and his mannerisms and style? How curious are you to, to kind of see how he does as a head coach? Uh, of course, I'm really curious. I mean, like I said before, he recruited me, and he's always going to have a special place uh, for me with that. I mean, I know this around this building, every player and staff and faculty love Coach Pittman, and uh, I know over there that's the same way just from knowing him for the past two years. But I am interested, and I wish him the best of luck as he goes on, and I know he's going to do well. Thank you. Okay, Jake Rowe, do you have a question? Yeah, Warren, um, you know, we, we heard Kieras talk earlier this week and, and he seemed really jazzed up, really excited about the offense. And I know you guys have put in a lot of hard work, but um, is there any excitement, any kind of like a, a, maybe a chip on your shoulder to maybe for you guys to kind of prove that, that you know, last year is last year and that you guys are a brand new offense? Is, is, that, is that excitement there? Yo, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that's the case with every single year. Not each year is going to be the same year, and each year there's new players stepping up and uh, new schemes going in, especially having uh, this Coach Munkin and, and Coach Luke and all of our new position coaches coming in. I think it's just an extra aspect, and we're just ready to play. I mean, we've been in the grind of uh, fall camp and just practicing and practicing, but now it's game week and we're ready to go. I mean, it's, it's an exciting time. Okay, thank you. We'll go to Connor Riley. Hey, Warren, how did Sam Pittman specifically sort of help you grow as both a player and a person in his time at Georgia? 
Uh, one thing that Coach Pittman did really a good job with is connecting with us personally. Like I said before, he was well loved all around the building. Uh, and I think that he uh, has his own techniques and everything that he taught us has stuck with me. And, uh, you know, little things like that I can re reflect on as I play right now. But what I'm really focused on right now is just the, who we have right here and right now. And Coach Luke has done an outstanding job so far, and he'll continue to do an outstanding job with us and teaching us and getting us prepared for the game. Brandon Sudge or Jed May, do you guys have a question? Hey, uh, Warren, um, uh, another thing on uh, Coach Pittman. Um, so can you recall um, a one of your favorite or the funniest memory of when y'all had a get together in his house with his wife and or when he took y'all to eat? Can you share any uh, memory there? Uh, I don't know if I have one in particular. Like I said before, he was well loved all around the building. His players felt the same way. I mean, he was uh, definitely jolly and he's, he's going to get someone to laugh no matter what. But Overall, he was just a great guy. But, I mean, like I said before, I mean, he he was great and all. And we got a new staff. And we're excited about them. And we're ready to go. Okay, Palmer, would you like to ask a question? Yeah, Warren, last year it seemed like the starters were on the offensive line were kind of set in place. Do you think this year the competition has helped the group at all? And, and what do you think the identity of the unit will be? Uh, any, any sort of competition is going to grow. I mean, that's just the nature of the game. I mean, you want to compete, and that's how you're going to get better. You want to be pushed, and that's how you're going to get better. Um, and I, I think that um, this year, just like all years, we want to be physical. We want to impose our will, and we got to play downhill run, and that's how UGA is. We're going to, we're going to continue to, to build that brand as it has been in years past. Okay, we'll move on to Alec McQuaid. Sorry, I'm good, thank you. Okay, we can open it up for a few more questions for Warren. Warren, this is uh, Chip Towers. I, I guess I'll ask you a tough one. Uh, there's been some public comments lately uh, from former players about the environment at Georgia, one charging of it being a, a racially uh, insensitive, the other one that it, uh, a toxicity, I mean, we haven't been able to talk to players about that. I'm assuming you you believe differently since you're still here. Uh, you know that that is definitely a tough question, and it's something that it, you know does, does players feel, and it's fortunate that they feel that way. I mean, like I said before, I love each and every single one of our coaches, and it's the reason why I decided to choose this program. And uh, just going forward, we just want to focus on the people we have in our building, and as we continue to build this, I mean, I. I know that this season is going to be special, and we're just, we're just excited for the guys and the team and the coaches that we have. Hey, Warren. Uh, a few Jen, more questions. Jed May from the Macon Telegraph. Um, I wanted to ask you, you mentioned that competition a minute ago. Um, one, how much of that is, you know, is fun versus, you know, the stress of battling for a job? And number two, does that extend beyond the field? I mean, are you all competitive in video games, you, you know, any other kind of stuff that you do in your daily lives? Uh, yeah, um, you know, competition is competition and on the field, we want to we want to compete and we want to play well. Uh, and that's going to push each other to, to grow as a, as a as a unit, and as well as just players in general. But I think that we do a good job of, uh, you know, knowing when to compete and then also, you know, stepping back and, and gelling well as a, as a unit, we want to re become really close as a unit this year, no matter where you were on the depth chart, what position you're going to be, we wanted to work together because the best way to do that is just to be a team within the team. Um, and then uh, I forget the, the last question you had ending. Uh, just, I mean, what else do y'all compete in? I mean, are you playing video games, you know, playing pickup basketball after practice? You know, what, what kind of, how, what, how far beyond the field does the competition go? I don't, I don't think it really ever stops. I mean, we're always competing in the weight room with uh, what we eat, our, our diets, and just how we interact outside of the building, um, whether it's just like fun little games in the locker room or just even outside, like you mentioned. Uh, I think that we it never stops. And it's as football players and as uh, you know, collegiate athletes, we're always wanting to compete. That's in our blood, and so I think that it never really stops. Hey, Warren's Anthony again. Looking across on the defensive line, uh, is there anything about those guys this year that's jumping out at you? Maybe you weren't seeing this time last year. You know, we haven't played Arkansas before, and um, I think since Coach Mar has been here. And uh, we're excited about this team. You know, we're, this is a, a great chance because we 
months ago didn't even know if we we're going to have a season. So just having this opportunity, we're really excited about, you know, the defensive line that we're playing, you know, Division One SEC caliber defense. So you can't take anyone lightly, and they're going to be a great defense, come off the ball. They're going to give us everything they got, and we're just ready for it. All right. Thank you so much, Warren. Thank you.